Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be the review try on of this bad boy right here. The Nickelodeon eyeshadow palette. That is right. It is Nickelodeon. It is 90s. So if you guys want to see what they look like, what I can create with them, and how they perform, keep on watching. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and become a member of my YouTube family. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. So let's jump right on in and get started. So let's get started with this 90s Nickelodeon eyeshadow palette review, try on, whatever the flip you want to call it. Okay, so <laughs> I purchased this little guy at Hot Topic for $16.90. I know, it's a very random price, but that's how much it was. Um, So in this, you get two grams of product. Uh, 0 0.07 ounces per pan. Okay. So, on the front of it, it looks like a cassette tape. Hello, 90s. Hello. I missed you. We have Hey Arnold, Chucky, Helga, Ren and Stimpy, Angelica, and Reptar. And then on the back, we have Cat Dog and Crumb. If you don't know where some of these people are from, just ask down below and I will answer it. <laughs> Okay, and then on the front, no, in the inside, I'm going to try to cover up the mirror so it doesn't blind you. Here, we'll do it like that. Okay, we have Angelica again, Stimpy, Spunky, Wren, Rocco, Chucky, Susie, Cat, Reptar, and Dog. And then you have all these lovely little bands that apparently I'm going to dip my fingers into. Uh, this also comes with a brush. I took it out. Well, it fell out. Um, but this is a very, very interesting brush. Um, it's hard. It feels like, I'm not even kidding, the 90s paint brushes that you get when you were a kid. But I'm totally digging it. Um, but I'm probably not going to. So, we're going to do some swatches first. And then we'll decide what kind of look we're going to do. So this one is I'm Beautiful. Woo. Okay, so there is I'm Beautiful. And here is You Idiot. Let's see, we've got He Loves Me. A really pretty gold. Uh, I'm running out of fingers, all dolled up. A pretty pink. Really not a good place to swatch. Uh, smashing. I believe that's from the Wild Thornberries. It's a, I don't know. I don't know what kind of color that is. Kind of like a, I wouldn't say copper. Um, I don't know. Like a pewter kind of, maybe a little. Okay, wow. Okay, so the pinks and reds do stain your fingers. So it's going to stain your eyes too. Um, here we have Roar. It is a glittery green that is not good. Okay, so you've seen me rub it. Looks pretty here. Looks awesome. But it's a lot of rubbing. No. Okay. So I was really excited about that one and I'm probably not going to use it. Okay. So this is O Fish Sticks. That one feels really nice. Okay. We'll just go down the arm, I guess. It's like a taupey color shade, whatever. Um, here is blue and this is football head. Whoa. Hello. Wow. That's nice. You can see where my finger slipped. <laughs> okay, this is purple and is I'm the boss. That one's nice too. And then last one, I need a clean finger. It is orange and it is high o diggity. That gone. That's nice too. Okay. So what do we want? First off, I know for a fact that I'm going in with the O oh, fish sticks for like my little transition area shape. So, that's on. 
There's no fallout, no nothing like that. So I am quite pleased with that. Okay. So as of right this second, it's a it's a total up in the air if I'm gonna love this or hate it. Because the swatches are like 50-50. And that one was really good. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do you idiot. And I'm gonna put that like in the crease out here, all, all over the place right there. Mm, okay. Kind of balls up a little bit with the brush. It's okay. We're gonna tap well, apparently a lot of that off. And put it right there. Cause this with this palette you can't really you can't really ease into anything. They're all just kinda out there. But I just want to use as many colors as I possibly can. Just so you can see kinda what we're working with. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you, these don't blend very well. Um, like it's not bad, but I'd like a little bit more blending. The pigment's definitely there though. I'm gonna go back with a different brush and see if I can't blend that out a little bit better. So I have a different brush and I'm just going to try to blend that out a little. Wow, it's not wanting to go anywhere. Okay. Alright, so it's not much. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to blend out any better than that. I'm a little disappointed in that, but what are you going to do? Okay, so now that I'm totally bummed out, you know, while I have this out, I'm going to put some of this on the lower lash line as well, just because I've already got it. Trying to make this look as normal as possible. Um, I totally think that if you have more than one palette, like if you don't just want to use this palette, um, I feel like a lot of these shades are going to be really great. I know you can't really see all the whole thing. But just using one, it's very hard to, like one palette, it's very hard to get like a good look going that you're happy with. Okay, but I'm going to do it for you guys because I love you guys. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm going to use Smashing. Smashing, darling. Or He Loves Me. Which one? Okay. Let's look. Okay, Smashing or He Loves Me. I think I'm going to go with Smashing. I'm going to put that on to this naked spot. The Nike spot. Um, you guys, if I say Nike in a video, that is totally where I got it from. Um, Rugrats. Tommy's not on here. I got it from Tommy because he says Nike. So, that's why I say that. Anyway, um, I'm going to try to use a brush and see how... Okay, we'll try this brush. I totally just dug into that. Oh, my lanta. I'm so mad. I just dug the brush and took a chunk out of that right there. Oh. Okay. Today's not starting off well. All right. I'm just going to use my finger. Forget it. And try to forget that I just took a huge chunk out of a brand new palette. Okay. So I'm going to use Smashing again. I'm going to pop it right there. Oh, that's nice. I like it. Oh, 
Like I totally wasn't expecting that. Ooh, I like this one. Okay. Let me get this one done. Okay, now that's on there, I'm just gonna use that same brush and just barely, barely, and try to blend out that smashing that I just put in there. Or not blend it out, but just kinda, you know, marry the two colors together. I like to deepen up that crease a little bit. But we're just trying out the palette and see. Oh my Lanta, I just dug my nail into another one. End up, I'm beautiful. I just dug my nail into it. Oh. Really? <laughs> okay. So I feel like by itself, again, I know I already said it, but by itself, you can't really do a whole, whole lot. To try to put this into the corner of my eyes and hope it works. And I know I'm using the wrong brush. Just use my finger. I feel like your fingers is the way to go in this palette. <sighs> okay. All right, not ain't that either. Um, these totally work better with your fingers. Um, yeah, definitely the shimmers are gonna work the best with your fingers. You get one, two, well, one, two, three, four, five shimmers. This one is just glitter. It does not work on with fingers or brushes. It just doesn't, I'm gonna be honest. And then you get one, two, three, four mattes. Your mattes are, you idiot. Um, I feel wrong saying it like that, you idiot. Um, oh, fish, oh, fish six, football head, and hi ho diggity. I think that's from Cat Dog, is it? I can't remember. It's been a while. You know what? Let me put on some eyeshadow or some eyeliner and mascara, and let's see if it looks any better. Hang on. Okay. So the eyeliner and the mascara totally kind of salvaged this look a little bit. Um, I think it looks a lot better when it's completely finished. Overall, my 100% honest opinion, awesome packaging, totally sold me on the packaging alone. So, total win there. Total win. So the eyeshadow itself. I am really, really liking, I do like the ones that I put on my eyes. Um, I am, this one is a total flop. Roar, total flop. Total flop. No. Like, it's just not, like, I'm really pushing in there and digging in. And it's still, like, it's just not, it's not there. It's just not there. And I'm not, I'm not okay with that. I don't like it. I don't like that one. Um, some of these are very chalky. Very chalky. Um, but I feel like the color payoff's really good. And a lot of these, and most of them, the color payoff is really good. There's a lot of pigmentation in it. If you're going to use another palette with this one, I would totally recommend this one for like really bright shades, even though you can get other bright shades for a better price and a better quality. But if you're gonna buy this for the packaging anyway, you can totally use it for that. Um, they are very hard to blend out though. But I'm not mad that I bought it. I'm glad that I bought it just for the packaging alone. Like I'm gonna keep this forever and ever and ever until I'm 80,000 years old. So, um, but if you guys wanna get it, I'd totally say go ahead and get it just for the nostalgia reasons. Um, and like, it's not terrible. Like I don't hate it. I don't, it's not the best palette I've ever played with. I'm not in love with it, but I definitely don't hate it. I do hate that green though. That was just not good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and become a member of my YouTube family. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a great day.